Hi guys, today I'm doing a products war and I've got two products for you and they're both setting powders. So one's a loose and, well this one's a loose and this one's a press. And yeah, I've got a cold. Um, sorry I said that in every video but it annoys me more than it annoys you when I'm editing. So um, yeah, um, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by telling you the price of both of them. The end, um, both of them are matte. So they will keep you matte, they're not like a sheen powder or anything like that. The only difference compared to them are that they are pressed and loose in packaging wise and what they say they do. Um, price wise, and this one's in translucent by the way, this um, loose powder, and this one is in silky beige. So they do have different colours, but I just went for the translucent. Here you get 12M, and in here you get 30M. The price of this is £2.30 in um, super drug stores in the UK and the price of this is £3.99 in boot stores in the UK. So for me personally I do prefer loose powder over pressed powder. I just feel it goes on more and it kind of like soaks up most all of your oils that you don't need. But I feel like like pressed powder it doesn't really like go on very well to my skin and it doesn't really do much to it. So um, I personally, I prefer the MUA powder because number one, it's cheaper and it just does better for my skin. And also you get one of them little um, like sieve things in it like you always get in the powders, which I really, really like because it's just easier to use. And I get it on my brush and then I tap it off on the lid and then I use whatever's on the lid and on my brush to do around my face. So I find that a lot easier, but... When I'm travelling, I do like to carry this one with me because it's just easy to chuck in there and it's very thin and if you haven't got all that powder on you, you're in the car and you're like, oh my god, powder's going everywhere. Um, the only problem is the lid comes off quite easily. Like, all I did was like, pressure that a tiny bit and it like, comes off and the packaging has rubbed off of quite a bit on this. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's like rubbing off. And also, it cracks as well, quite easily. So... Yeah, I'm a bit, the packaging could be better. I do prefer the packaging of this, but again, it's a loose powder, not a pressed powder. They have completely different packaging. So I love to dust this over my face every time I wear makeup, or even if it's a really sunny day, I like to put a bit of primer on and then powder my face with this and I don't get oily or shiny throughout the day. Now, this is a big key for me because I am a hairdresser, so I'm in the salon. So we're with like heated products, we're with like curling irons, straighteners, um, blow dryers, we with like all that kind of heated products. I never come out looking oily when I use this, like never ever ever. So I really do like this. Um, I do put it in my bag but I never end up wearing it and obviously unless it's like, I don't know, like 30 degrees and I'm like sweating and everyone's sweating but um, then most of the time I normally come out pretty like normal, not oily, not extra oily or anything. Um, I do have normal skin. Um, well, normal to dry because it can get quite dry. So um, this is really just perfect for my With skin. the Rimmel Stay Matte, as I said, I feel like it doesn't take as much on the brush and it doesn't make my skin not oily. I've used this when I'm in the salon and I've come out looking like a grease ball. So I really do prefer the other one, but I love this for costume makeup. If you are a person that does like costume makeup and you do like Halloween makeup or like you know big dramatic backstage makeup and things like this this will be like one of your best friends because I find any paint goes on with it I was doing my brother's makeup the other day because um, he had a Halloween party and this just went on like a dream and it went on and it made all the paint stay and it didn't like move the paint around or anything so I really love this for like Halloween makeup and costume makeup and even sometimes like bridal makeup because my sister's getting married soon and um, I was practicing the makeup on her because she wants me to do it for her and um, this just works better than this so it does just depend on like your skin and she has oily skin um, like oily to normal skin so I think if you have oily skin I would definitely go for this but if you have like normal to dry or maybe even oily as well then just try them both but you know they're both quite cheap but I personally for my skin type and my skin just the way my skin works and the um like places where I'm in like in the salon we have like chemicals and things like that this just sticks better on my sticks better 
better stays better on my skin basically i really do love this so that is my review on these two comment down below which one your favorite is out of them if you have both of them if you haven't i would recommend getting them because they both are something that you definitely would want in your collection um again they're both quite cheap they're both drugstores so yeah i really do love this this is actually my favorite powder out of all of my powders I own, this is my favourite one, so I wanted to do a little comparison for you guys, and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed, that was the video for today. Comment down below any product wars that you want me to do, um, because I'm quite liking this. I'm not going to do it like every week or something, but I might do it like once a month or something like that. Um, so comment down below if you want me to do like, I've got a bonjour, which I'm wearing today, lipstick, like two lipsticks, but like same brand, but different um makes and stuff like that like different i might do it on them if you know what i mean like they're by the same edition but they're different finishes and stuff like that so i might do it on them um so comment down below if you want to see anything else don't forget to like this video if you like more product wars and also don't forget to subscribe and i hope this helped you um in any way to either go and pick one up or pick the other one up over the other one but i just hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys Later. Bye. You get the kind of gist. Uh -huh. I can't do the intro right. Oh my god. Okay, so. My god, why did I give a messing up tonight? The price of the. This is upside down. The price. Of, I'm actually going to scream today. I can't get anything right. No, it's not in boots, is it? They don't sell it in boots. Now to work like Miley Cyrus. Now to work like Miley Cyrus.